develop an awareness, sensitivity and a positive attitude towards the environment. The solution to many environmental problems lie in our attitude towards our environment. The best attempt to bring about a change in the society is through the children who are our future generation. The main objective of our Eco Club is to empower students to actively participate and take up a meaningful environmental activities and projects. I am Saila Bavras, Green Volunteer of Bishop Coaches. We are on the journey to Carbon Neutral Campus. The Green Volunteers of this school take this as a mission. One girl leader and one boy leader were selected and we met on first Wednesday every month. A team of teachers and students work for the team every year under the guidance of an expert panel. We used to monitor every nook and corner of the campus along with our housekeeping staff. Mangrove A mangrove is a shrub or tree that grows in coastal saline or brackish water. Mangrove occur worldwide in the tropics and subtropics and even some temperate coastal areas. They are salt tolerant trees also called halophytes and are adapted to live in a harsh coastal conditions. Vetiver Chrysophogon cisaniodes commonly known as vetiver and cus is the perennial bunch grass of the family Poaceae. It grows to 150 cm high and forms clumps as wide. The stems are tall and the leaves are long, thin and rather rigid. I am Devanayana Prasad, Green Volunteer of Bishop Hodges. Green School Program The school has been doing GSP from 2015 and we got the green rating from 2018 onwards. As per the GSP, different auditing teams were formed to monitor air, energy, food, land, water and waste inside the campus. Each team works under a student leader and a teacher coordinator. Air Audit Team The Air Audit Team examined the ventilation facilities of various rooms and analyzed the data to be in tune with the guidelines. Energy Audit Team The Energy Audit Team examined the energy resources of the campus. They went to analyze the rating and quality of electronic appliances and gadgets. Food Audit Team the food audit team examined and promoted the students to be more conscious of preferring good quality and nutritious food. Use of steel tumblers, utensils and lunch boxes were ensured. Healthy food habits and lifestyles were encouraged. We even banned packed foods and provided homemade food for programs. Land audit team. The land audit team explored the living resources of the campus. They went to watch native birds, animals, plant species and green vegetables. Horticulture waste were purely managed and converted into biomanure. Water audit team. The water audit team examined the water use, disposal and its recycling. To make the campus water wise, we harvested water. The water from the wash area is drained into pits lined with the bricks, which helps in recycling and groundwater recharging. Waste audit team. The waste audit team audit the types and quantity of waste and even analyze its management. We deal with food waste and horticulture waste. Green volunteers list different types of waste and provided steel colored bins to deal with bio and non-biodegradable waste materials. The team members monitor the waste and its management. Now a new attitude to waste management slowly become operational. I am Anna Rustain, Green Volunteer Bishop Rogers. We pledge that we will work to become zero waste schools. We will minimize waste and maximize its reuse. We will make waste our research and we will be a waste wise school. I am Tejas and Thomas, Green Volunteer of Bishop Hodges. Green Class Award. The award was given to the class which manage the ways effectively and successfully and promoting the green policy and sustainable. We have a paperless office and campus. We the use of paper, recycle them and gradually shift to digital methods and media. I am Naishana Fadima, Green Volunteer from Bishop Hodges HSS, Food Compost Unit. For Food Compost Bin, we have set up a project led by differently able students. I am Ayat Mesh, 
with a layer of dry leaves at the bottom. All food waste, grains, eggshells and vegetable peas will go into it. The manual in the form of darkish granule is gifted to staff of students. Setting up the unit, campus is becoming pest free. The unit was motivated by a team of mentor of students. They monitor what goes in the composite units, recycling and transportation of waste and check proper interventions what to be made. Greetings to all, I am Marina from Bishop Hodges. Nursery for Vitivo, we, green volunteers, prepare vitivo supplies in schools and distribute it in different institutions. We also plant it in public places. I would like to express my experience here. We, the green volunteers, visit nearby some institutions and give awareness to encourage students and societies to join our campaign for climate change. In our group, the volunteers are Marina, Naishana, Feba, Adriga, Bhatra, Amisha and Nandita. We visited some institutions like St. Andrews Lisa Church Mudatana, Peak Memorial Training College Mavalikara, Infant Jesus ICC School Mavalikara, Beach High School, CMS HS Punaviri, CMS LP School Kangara, CMS LP School Mudatana, CMS LP School Punaviri, St. James English Medium School Punaviri, BH Higher Secondary School, CMS Kodwarani, Saurudha Teachers Meeting of Mavalikara Education Department, Bishop Moo College Mavalikara, Kalumala LP School, Government VHSS, IMHS Kodwarani, Art Deacon or Woman Maman As the coordinator of Green School Program and convener of Climate Justice Forum of Bisapatia's High Secondary, our primary goals included convincing the individual learners that activities and involvement leading to sustainable climate resilience is the duty-bound responsibility of everyone. To make the green volunteers operative on these lines, suitable projects and programs have been envisaged and implemented from within the limits, which included waste is wealth, segregation at source, water voice, energy efficient institution, and zero waste. Activities undertaken such as bioremediation with carbon sequestration using vegetable and mangroves provided encouraging results for the volunteers to further the activities to join hands with district administration, local self-government body and Madhikela Diocese of the Church of South India. The volunteers function as experts to propagate the projects back in their home and community. During the pandemic scare, in association with the Scrap Collection Association, the school took the lead in collecting near about 135 tons of waste materials in the district, for which the district collector formally expressed his appreciation. The Jail Education Department of the Government of Kerala recognized the effort by making the GSP coordinator of the school the district project coordinator of Zero Carbon Alapura in 2021. Phase 1 of the project is already completed with a measure of success, but with the happenings around the world, we feel nowhere. Phase 2 is already underway during which we expect to fare far more well than in Phase 1. Two international acclaims are being received for the works undertaken in relation to climate change mitigation of Phase 1. First one is the Climate Justice Champion Award from Madras Church of Great Britain. Secondly, a cash award and citation for climate mitigation for the project Lattice for Creation, a global climate justice art moment. We were the special invitees to the National Seminar of UNEP at India Habitat Centre Delhi, Seminar at Dr. Anil Agarwal Institute, Nimli in Rajasthan, Training at Central Pollution Control Board, Delhi. School's journey to carbon neutral campus is published in the Free for the Future International Magazine of Evangelical Mission in Solidarity, Germany. So far, so good. Green volunteers are doing their maximum. Hope you can do your work with renewed vigor and energy. All the best for your activities. Thank you.